We're making pasta pesto. So I broke my toe. That's why I'm wearing this, if you can see. I broke my toe. I just got hair surgery. Like it was two weeks of intense, like spraying your head and doing all the ice packs and sleeping on a ground. Like, okay, I can finally live my life. I walk to plug in my headset, break my toe. So I'm gonna hobble around my kitchen today and we're making pasta pesto. It's gonna be linguine pesto. So this pesto, it's not, you know, the most traditional Genovese pesto one. I don't have a garden. I live in New York. That's the only real plant that I have and I can barely keep it alive. But luckily there is good basil in New York City. This is a pretty basic pesto recipe. I just don't have the thing to, I have a fake one. You know what I mean? Like this is fake. I mean, it's not like I can't, and also let's be honest, like I'm not like an old Genovese Italian woman. I'm Sicilian, okay? And we're gonna make some pesto. So our ingredients, we have basil, salt, garlic, pecorino romano, parmigiano reggiano, we have pine nuts and we have linguine and olive oil. Linguini and I don't have a great relationship. I'm not the biggest fan of linguini, but it is traditional to this recipe. I'm gonna use three garlic cloves. I pulled four just because these are really small. They're not like the big ones in case I want it, but three or two should be enough. You don't want this to be too garlicky. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna start, we're gonna take our basil, which this is like, I don't think it's gonna be enough, but it should be enough. I mean, you want a lot of basil in this. No parsley, by the way. We don't need parsley. You're not mixing this with parsley. So I'm just gonna mix our two garlic cloves. This is, they're all kind of smashed up. And then I'm gonna put in just a little bit of salt. And then we are going to put in our pine nuts. And we are going to just mix this. <laughs> And I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of olive oil right now, but not a ton, just to help this get going. So I'm gonna put in our pecorino romano, and I'm gonna put in our parmigiano reggiano as I spill it all over my counter. I'm just gonna pour in the olive oil till it gets the consistency that I like. You wanna just have it give a gloss with the olive oil. You don't want it to get too liquidy. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil in it. I mean, I mean this looks pretty good. Pasta pesto. And you can try it right away. Oh, let me get my spoon. Let's see how much if it needs anything. Mmm. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. I'm sure there's some old Genovese woman yelling at me right now if she knows how to work YouTube. Ma questo non è pesto. Pesto non si fa. Non si fa così. Tu devi usare la... I'm like, okay. Now I added in a lot of pecorino and parmigiano de giano, so it has to me a nice balance of basil, which is that freshness, and then the cheese. It has that spiciness of the cheese, that pecorino. So to me, it's really good. <laughs> so I actually can't wait for you to try this, Chris. So we're gonna salt our water because our water's almost boiling. Now, if you remember Nick doing this, Nick doesn't know how to salt water. He burned his hand. This is a really quick recipe. I mean, if you think about it, not, it takes like, it didn't take that much time. Actually, the preparation took a lot of time because I had to grate all the cheese. I did all this before you came. So in reality, it is a, it is, it's a little messy, but oh, it's so good. And we're gonna put the pasta water on top of it. The first time I've like, this is the first week I've been, I was home for just like, 12 days. They wrapped my head right after surgery and I looked like Jafar when Jafar wished to be the Sultan. Remember, he was like, I wish to be Sultan and his outfit changed into the white like it stole from the other Sultan. Ah, uh, that's what I looked like. I love that I'm just leaning. I'm doing the natural gay stand. This is the natural gay stand. Leaning on one hip. Now I literally have to do it. I ran into my bed. Is there anything more embarrassing than your bed attacking you? I wish it was someone in the bed attacking me. I was like, oh yeah, I was having sex and then I broke my toe. No, I went to go charge my headset and I broke my toe. And at first I walked down, I was like, it doesn't seem that bad. This is fine, it's bruised. It's like really bad. Linguine in, our water salted. It's also just nice to have extra pesto lying around because it's like, you can use it for pretty much anything. Look at that, doesn't it look beautiful? When you filmed me putting my dishes in the dishwasher the other week, I mean, people were irate with me. How I put them in the dishwasher. 
And I think there's two types of people. I think there's people that don't give a shit, they're just throwing it in a dishwasher. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's three types of people. There's people who have dishwashers and don't. This is for the who. Because this is the first dishwasher I've ever had in 12 years of New York City. People who are really obsessed with it, like my Uncle Mike is obsessed. It has to go in his way, you can't put it in the other way. It, this is, you. what are you doing? You put the forks in the wrong way. You have to, everything before has to go this way. And I'm like, I don't really care. It's all going in and it's getting hot water and it comes out clean. If you're one of those people, let us know in the comments. Oh, I guess I'll, well, I'll just, all right. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so this is my top rack. This is gonna make people irate. That is gonna make people irate. People are gonna be fucking furious with me. This went from pasta pesto to piss off your viewers. Look, ready? It's gonna get cleaned. Oh my god, people are gonna be not even actually that made me kind of mad at myself. <laughs> I'm doing this in spite because I know people are gonna be wild. Now these plates don't even, they can't even go in normally because they're like kind of skewed in a weird way. I tried to watch Lord of the Rings. You know what, let's add this. Lord of the Rings fans. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fans, I love it. The fuck is this Amazon show? And they, you know, they're boasting about the millions of dollars they spent on this Lord of the Rings show. And I'm really excited and I watch it for 20 minutes. First of all, there's too many characters. Let's just start there. Number two, I'm saying this controversial statement. I don't like Hobbits. I don't like them. They're annoying. They're stupid. They get into too much trouble. They're so annoying. Like, oh, we Hobbits, uh, we, you know what? Let's call him. This is Jacob Ritz, everybody. Can you give us a 15 second rant about why you hate the Hobbits? Okay, here's the thing. When you're watching the other movies, people are inter interacting with the Hobbits who are not Hobbits. So the Hobbits are just like, oh, like, let, let's have some food. Let's stop. Let's have some food and enjoy the nature. And then all the other characters are like, we have some shit to do, Hobbits. Like, let's get moving. And that's funny. That's entertaining. But in the new Lord of the Rings uh, TV show, when it's just Hobbits, the Hobbits are like, oh, la, we're in the woods. We're cooking and we're hiding. Ooh, let's see the outside world. Oh no, in fact, let's actually sit and sip some tea first and enjoy the nature. Look at my daughter, isn't she a young creature full of youth and spunk? She'll be the new leader of our village when I die. And it's like, it's just an hour of that and it is insufferable. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Jacob. I gotta go cook my food. This is great. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, my daughter. What I'm gonna do now, okay, I'm putting this on low heat. <sighs> Now I look like a hobbit. I look like Gandalf. All right, let's take our pasta, our beautiful linguine, and we're gonna bring it into our pan. And this pasta water is exactly what we want. Ooh. Okay, so here's our linguine, and we're just gonna use Mamma Mia. Okay, we're gonna add our pesto. You could be pretty generous. I just didn't know how much I made versus how much pasta I have. And I don't want to overwhelm the pasta with the pesto. You just want to coat it lightly. But this seems like it should be. Watch, I just use all of it. <laughs> We're going to take our pasta water and ladle that right in. And then with a wooden spoon, we're just going to mix it in on a low heat. I mean, this really looks insanely good. And we can, just for fun, Chris. Just, just a wee bit more, we hobbits love pesto. It is our favorite dish here in Lord of the Rings. It looks fucking incredible. I always, yes, I did it right this time. It's kind of a swirl to it. Now the moment of truth, our pasta pesto. Wow. This might have been the tastiest thing I've made yet. This is fucking superb. You know when something's so good you like don't know how to respond to the world? That's me right now. This is making me forget about my broken toe in the hobbits. No, I, I want you to try it right now. There's no waiting here. <laughs> Damn, I mean, it's just so nice. You don't have to, you can make pesto. Really, it's not that hard. It's super easy. Please like and subscribe. I love when you guys send me pictures of the food. My mother, when I made pasta de la mama and you guys were sending me photos of you guys making it, it was like, made me emotional because I was like, this is so funny, like a meal my mother whipped together for us kids, you know, just so we could eat something. And I loved it. Now everyone's making it. And then I get to send those pictures to my mom. So it means a lot to me. Thanks guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Mateo Lane, M-A-T-T-E-O-L-E-N-E. -E -E, and we will see you next time for another pasta.